These are the top five free video streaming services. We're entering a world of lots and lots of new streaming competitors, Apple TV+, Disney+, HBO Max, and even NBC's Peacock. What if you just wanna watch stuff for free? I hear you yelling, piracy! No, 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 no pirating. There are a bunch of sites that let you watch all kinds of movies and TV shows for no money whatsoever. Four out of five of these use ads to make it free, by the way. Let's rank the services. Number five is IMDb TV, formerly known as IMDb Free Dive. This service is powered by Amazon since it owns IMDb. And yes, IMDb TV has ads. You can watch content on the IMDb site or the Amazon Prime app on set-top boxes. You have to keep scrolling down until you find it though. A lot of these sites have some of the same content, by the way. Finding exclusives is not that simple. In my search, IMDb TV was the only free streaming service to offer all five seasons of Fringe, the full run of Heroes, and three seasons of Gilligan's Island. You could also find La La Land there for free. At number four is Canopy. This is the only service on the list that shows its content without ads. So what's the catch? You have to sign in with your public library card or university information. Unfortunately, not every library is a part of Canopy. What's great about their service? Big tier titles like Lady Bird, Hereditary, Moonlight, Eighth Grade, and Memento. Since this service is affiliated with libraries and universities, the titles you're looking at are a little higher brow. Canopy says everyone from film scholars to casual viewers will discover remarkable and enriching films on Canopy. Number three is Sony Crackle. It's been around for a while and is ad supported. This service has lots of big titles in general. Here's a list of stuff you'll find for free on Sony Crackle and nowhere else. Air Force One, 28 Weeks Later, and Cliffhanger. There's also I Know What You Did Last Summer, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, and I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. On the TV front, it has the full run of the amazingly underrated animated sitcom, The Critic. Sony Crackle also has three seasons of news radio. There's also a selection of Marvel anime, like Iron Man, Wolverine, and X-Men. Sony Crackle has a really strong lineup. Number two is 2B TV, although number two and three could flip-flop on a different day. If you're looking for a free site to complement your Netflix membership, go to 2B TV. It actually has a section named Not On Netflix. That's really helpful. There are some real gems for free here. No Country for Old Men, The Boondock Saints, when Scream went offline at Netflix, guess what? It wound up at Tubi TV. They've also got some nice collections, so you don't have to go hunting through tons and tons of content. Checking Nostalgia TV gets you the A-Team, ALF, and Xena. By the way, you can find the A-Team and ALF on IMDb TV as well. Xena, you can't do that. Also, Tubi gives you the option to see what's online for free only on its site. The selection shows you both movies and TV shows. Are they great? Well, they're free. And at number one is Vudu. You get over 5,000 free movies to stream with an excellent selection. Unbreakable, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and Gran Torino are on the list. I'm a big fan of all three. Scrolling through the selection shows a lot of quality and a few duds. If you're a fan of movies that are so bad that they're good, you can watch The Master of Disguise starring Dana Carvey. It has a 1% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Think about that. Do you wanna pay for that? You don't have to. There's also Son of the Mask. It is six times better than Master of Disguise. Again, if it's free, maybe watch the horribleness. There's also an option to filter just fresh only movies. All the junk goes by the wayside. There's also a TV section with over 500 titles. I think when it comes to quality, Voodoo is hard to beat, especially when they're asking you for zero dollars. Like I said, there are a number of titles you can find on multiple platforms. Like Third Rock from the Sun is on Tubi TV, Voodoo, and Sony Crackle. The catalogs also change from time to time, like most streaming services. Since all of these are free, try them all out. If you want to find what's streaming where, check out JustWatch.com. It's one of my favorite search tools. We did a video telling you about the top five. Try them out. If you want to control your home theater, you've got to check out this video. It's the best addition you can have to your living room. If you've got ideas for top fives, let us know. Write a comment, tweet at me, I'm at Ayaz. I'm also Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.